Hi, I'm Ms. Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library. I have a question for you. Do you want to build a snowman? No snow needed, because today we'll make a snowman and bobblehead with things that you have around your house. Now, January is International Creativity Month, and yesterday was National Bobblehead Day. So today we're going to make a snowman bobblehead like this. Do you recognize this guy? It's our favorite snowman, Olaf from Frozen. Now, Olaf loves warm hugs and he loves to read. So I'll share a short beginning reader book called Olaf Loves to Read, and then we'll make our own fun bobblehead. So let's get started. Frozen 2, Olaf Loves to Read, written by John Edwards. Illustrated by Disney Storybook Artist. Published by Random House Disney. Anna and Olaf walk through town. They see the librarian, Odvar, at the library. Odvar is going to visit his family. There is no one to watch the library while he is gone. Anna has an idea. Olaf can be the librarian. Olaf agrees. He loves to read. Odvar leaves. Anna and Olaf wave goodbye. Anna leaves too. Olaf is alone in the library. There are so many books. He wants to read them all. Olaf is having so much fun. Some children from the village watch him. Olaf makes reading fun. The children join him in the library. He finds a book for everyone. More and more people visit the library. Olaf is very happy. He gives lots of warm hugs. Anna returns. She is shocked. The library is full of people. Anna walks inside. Olaf has changed everything. He created works of art. He built a castle. He even sorted books by color. Odvar returns to the library too. He looks around and smiles. Odvar loves what Olaf has done. The library is now full of people. He gives the snowman a warm hug. Odvar asks Olaf to keep working at the library. The snowman is thrilled. His friends come to help. The whole town agrees that Olaf is a great librarian. The end. I would love to hear Olaf read me a story. That would be fun. Olaf sure used his creativity at the library. He even made a castle out of books. How fun. Well, he might want to take a library lesson before sorting books by color. Because libraries don't sort books by color. Librarians sort books by the author's last name, that's the person who wrote the book, or by the subject of the book. For example, all the books about sharks are kept together, and that makes the books easy to find for readers like you. But you've probably seen that when you visit the library. Now, let's use our creativity to make a snowman bobblehead. But first, what is a bobblehead? Well, a bobblehead is a figure with a head attached to a spring that allows the head to bobble or bounce around. 
you've probably seen these solar power bobbleheads around. But this was not the first bobblehead. And while they didn't always look like this, bobbleheads have been around for quite a long time. Bobbleheads were thought to have originated in China by at least the 18th century. The figures were made of porcelain and looked a little bit like this. Bobbleheads became popular in the United States in the early 20th century. Bobbleheads often promoted famous people from different sports like baseball player Willie Mays, as well as popular musicians like the Beatles. Today, bobbleheads are made of plastic and come in a variety of shapes, just like this snowman here. Now, let's make our own bobblehead using materials that you have in your house. Let's get started. In order to make your bobblehead, I'll give you some choices of different materials that you might have around your house. To make the body, you're going to need two cups. If they're white, that's great, but you can also use printed cups. If you want, wish to cover them with paper, I've included directions in the description box below of cutting out a piece of paper like this shape, and then you can cover the cup very easily. Um, you're also going to need something to make the spring. So if you have a um, pipe cleaner, that's great. Uh, if you have straw, you can use that and I'll show you how to use that. Or you can even use some heavy paper or recycle a cardboard box like a cereal box. You're going to need glue and tape and scissors and some things to make decorations like paper or markers and crayons. And most importantly, you're going to need your imagination and creativity. So first we're going to make the bobblehead spring and then attach it to both of the cups. So if you're using a pipe cleaner, wind the pipe cleaner around your finger like that and bend the ends a little bit. So you need to make, make a little tap uh, just on one end like that and then leave the other end just bend just a little bit like that so that you can go ahead and tape it using some tape. Now, if you had a paper cup, you could probably poke it in the, the cup, but I like to secure it with tape. And then you're going to attach the other side in the cup right here, just like that inside the top of the cup with some tape. And then you could check and see if your bobble head bobbles. If not, you might have to readjust the tape. Now, if you don't have a pipe cleaner, I can show you how to use a straw. And so I just took a drinking straw and then I cut it to the length that I needed. I squished the ends, put a little bit of tape on it and folded it over to make a tab. And then you can go ahead and tape to the um, bottom of the this cup that's gonna be on the bottom and then the inside of the cup that's going to be on top of it. And you will find that it bobbles a little bit like this. So once you've done that, now's the fun part. You get to decorate your snowman. So I made mine look like Olaf, of course, because he's everybody's favorite. A snowman, but you can make your snowman to look any way you wish. So I gave him a face, I gave him some arms, and of course a snowman needs some buttons, just to make it a little bit more fun. What kind of snowman will you create? I hope you had fun, I hope you keep reading and exploring, and I'll see you next time. Bye!